Hello friends, our today's topic is normal distribution. First we define probability density function of normal distribution. In case of continuous random variable the probability distribution function f of x of a normal variate x is given by f of x is equal to 1 upon root 2 pi into sigma into e raised to minus x minus mu bracket square upon 2 sigma square here x is lies between minus infinity and infinity mean mu is also lies between minus infinity to infinity standard deviation sigma is greater than 0 and this f of x equal to 0 otherwise this is probability density function of normal distribution here mu is mean and sigma is standard deviation mu and sigma are called parameters of normal distribution Then the graph y is equal to f of x is the frequency curve of the normal distribution. and it is called as normal curve then properties of normal distribution and normal curve first property normal curve is symmetric bell shaped curve and it is symmetric about mean mu second property for normal distribution mean is equal to median is equal to more and its notation is mu see this graph our first property Normal curve is symmetric, bell shaped curve and symmetric about mean mu. Normal curve is like this. This is bell shaped, symmetric and it is symmetric about mean mu. Then second property. For normal distribution, mean 
is equal to median is equal to mode and here is our mean mu this is equal to median and this is equal to mode so here is our mean median and mode of normal distribution then our third property normal car comes closer to the x axis as x moves away from the mean but never touches the x axis see here this curve this curve comes closer to x axis in both the direction this curve come closer to x axis but never touches to the x axis this is our third property then fourth property the total area under the normal curve is unity means this total area under this curve is 1 area to the right of the ordinate is exactly equal to area to the left of the ordinate and this area is 0.5 means this half area the right hand side and this half area left hand side both are equal total area is 1 so half area is 0.5 then sixth property mean deviation of this distribution is square root of 2 upon pi into sigma value of square root of 2 upon pi is 0.7979 into sigma mean deviation is square root of 2 upon pi into sigma this is equal to 0.7979 into sigma next property the quartiles are equidistant from the mean see here we know that median is second quartile means q2 and this property says that our quartiles q1 and third quartiles q3 are equidistant means this distance is equal to this distance and the quartiles are equidistant from the mean they are at a distance of 0.6745 into sigma each from mu that is this distance is mu minus 0.6745 into sigma and this distance is mu 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू सिग्मा हेन्स क्यू वन इज म्यू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू सिग्मा एंड क्यू थ्री इज म्यू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू सिग्मा देन क्वार्टाइल डेवेशन क्वार्टाइल डेवेशन वी नो दैट फॉर्म्यूला टू फाइंड क्वार्टाइल डेवेशन इज क्यू थ्री माइनस क्यू वन अपॉन टू इफ वी सब्सट्रैक्ट क्यू वन फ्रॉम क्यू थ्री एंड इफ वी डिवाइड बाई टू वी गेट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू सिग्मा सो दिस इज क्वार्टाइल डेवेशन क्वार्टाइल डेवेशन इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव इंटू सिग्मा नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी एज द कर इज सिमेट्रिक मेजर of skewness beta 1 is 0 and measure of kurtosis is beta 2 is 3 then next property for different values of mean mu and standard deviation sigma we get different normal curve y is equal to f of x property number 10 a normal variate with mean 0 and standard deviation sigma is 1 is known as standard normal variate and it is denoted by z we can transform any normal variable x into standard normal variable by applying transformation Z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma, and in this case, probability density function is f of z is equal to one upon root two pi. Into e raised to minus z square upon two. Z is lies between minus infinity to infinity, and this is equal to zero. Otherwise, next property: probability of 
a less than x less than b is equal to probability of a less than equal to x less than b is equal to probability of a less than x less than equal to b this is equal to probability of a less than equal to x less than equal to b and this is equal to area under the normal curve between x equal to a and x equal to b then we take one problem for a normal distribution with mean 50 and standard deviation 10 find first probability of 40 less than equal to x less than equal to 60 second probability of x greater than equal to 60 third probability of x less than equal to 60 here variable x follows normal distribution with mean its notation is mu is given 50 and standard deviation its notation is sigma is also given 10 probability of 40 less than equal to x less than equal to 60 first we transform this given distribution into standard normal form here probability of 40 minus mu upon sigma less than equal to x minus mu upon sigma this is less than equal to 60 minus mu upon sigma this is equal to probability of 40 minus mu mu is 50 upon sigma sigma is 10 less than equal to x minus mu upon sigma is nothing but z this is less than equal to 60 minus mu mu is 50 upon sigma sigma is 10 here x minus mu upon sigma is z this is our transformation this is equal to probability of 40 minus 50 is minus 10 upon 10 less than equal to z less than equal to 60 minus 50 is 10 upon 10 this is equal to probability of minus 10 upon 10 is minus 1 less than equal to z less than equal to 10 upon 10 is 1 this is 0 here we have to find area between minus 1 to 1 means this area and we know that because of symmetry this area is nothing but this area so this is equal to area between minus 1 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 this minus 1 to 0 this area area between minus 1 less than equal to z less than equal to 0 plus 0 to 1 area between 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 and because of symmetry this negative area is exactly equal to positive area means this negative area minus 1 to 0 is exactly equal to area between 0 to 1 so this is equal to area between 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 
this is because of symmetry plus this area is 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 so this is equal to 2 times area between 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 we have to find area between 0 and 1 here is our 1 see this row and 0th column is 0 0.3413 area between z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 is 0 0.3413 2 into 0 0.3413 final answer 0 0.6826 second probability of x greater than equal to 60 this is equal to probability of x minus mu upon sigma this is greater than equal to 60 minus mu upon sigma this is equal to probability of x minus mu upon sigma is nothing but z greater than or equal to 60 minus mu mu is 50 upon sigma sigma is 10 this is equal to probability of z greater than equal to 60 minus 50 is 10 upon 10 10 upon 10 is 1 probability of z greater than equal to 1 here is our 1 we want z we want this area z greater than 1 means this portion we have this area z equal to 0 to z equal to 1 and we know that area of right hand side is 0.5 here we subtract this area area between z equal to 0 to z equal to 1 from 0.5 we get this small area this is equal to 0.5 minus area between 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 this is equal to 0 0.5 minus we know that area between z equal to 0 and z equal to 1 we have already calculated this area which is 0 0.3413 0 0.3413 and final answer 0 0.1587 then third case Probability of x less than equal to 60 This is equal to probability of x minus mu upon sigma less than equal to 60 minus mu upon sigma Probability of z less than equal to 60 minus mu mu is 50 and sigma is 10 this is equal to probability of z less than equal to 10 upon 10 this is equal to probability of z less than equal to 1 here is our 1 we have to find this area z less than 1 mean this area we know that area to the right hand side of this ordinate is 0 0.5 plus area between z equal to 0 to z equal to 1 we write this as 0 0.5 plus area between 0 less than equal to z less than equal to 1 this area so this is equal to 0 0.5 plus we have already calculated this area between z equal to 0 to z equal to 1 which is 0 0.3413 and final answer 0 0.8413 probability of x less than equal to 60 is 0 0.8413